All right, so this is going to be the last part of Khan Academy, and I'm sure people are plenty excited about it because I know I have drug it out and drug it out for weeks, and we've done other activities in between it. But we'll go ahead and get that done this week. <coughs> Excuse me. And these are the hands-on activities. Now, there's a third one right here. It's a little grayed out, but I'm not going to do this in class because that requires needles and thread, and I'm not having you all poke each other or poke your fingers and anything like that. So if you would like to do that at home, you're more than welcome to. The instructions are right there. But I'm going to go over real quick on what these activities are. So this first started, see, yeah, this one. So when we did the ball is life activity the very first week, you animated the ball over here. Well, now you're going to do it on paper, and there's three different challenges you can do. We're only going to focus really on challenge one, since we're only spending one day on it. I mean, I could do this the next week, and we do challenge one and two. But we'll see how y'all handle it on Thursday. But I really want to do uh, something else next week. Uh, so you can review it, which we've already gone through less than your own pace, so you've already done that part. So the first thing you need to do <coughs> is to get some resources. So you're going to get a pencil, paper, and sticky notes. That's all you're going to get. I'm going to see if I can find some grid paper. If not, I'll print off some grid sheets for you. And then you're going to follow the steps and try to animate a ball, just bouncing, just with the... Um, Sticky notes, and you can do like a little flip book, and then you're, we're going to talk about it. Was a realistic bounce? What made it realistic and stuff like that? And then we can um, do stage two if we feel like we need to. But um, it's based on how y'all do stage one. And then the next one is crowds and Pixar. So for this activity, it says grades five through seven, but I'm sure you fourth graders can have it. So it's completed within an hour. So you may need to draw faster. We might split up between two days. So here you do the homework. You did all these lessons already. This was also in the first week. So we're going to introduce the problem. It says Pixar is working on an upcoming dinosaur movie that requires large crowds of dinosaurs. Each dinosaur is made of exactly five parts. Head, body, arm, pair, leg, pair, and a tail. And so you will discuss it. We'll break into groups of two to four. Most likely two because, you know, COVID. And then we will, you will start designing tails, then sets of arms, then sets of bodies, and things like that. And you're not going to have matching stuff. So you see all these have different head, legs, arms, body. So this is all stuff they use in the background. So you can make literally, like I said, thousands of different dinosaurs with all parts you're going to draw. So that is what we're going to do with these hands-on activities. And all you're going to need here is paper and coloring. That's all we're going to do. So we can start with pencils, but I think I only have markers. So we might be a little limited with that. But in this third one, that one, it can be fun. That's to do with patterns and stuff. But I am not going to do that one in class because, again, that requires a needle. And one, we only everybody have needles. And I swear, I know some of you will poke each other with it. So, but this is a fun one to do. It's very cool. Maybe I can just show you how to do it with some drawing. <clears throat> but this requires ruler, scissors, index cards, pencils, thread, and a heavy needle. Okay. But it doesn't take long to do. It's very neat to do, but I'm just, I'm not going to bring needles here with y'all. So hopefully we can get this done this week. Um, maybe we'll do some of it on Friday instead of Fun Friday or Figure Out Friday. But let me, we'll discuss it when we get there. So um, here we go, guys. I will get this posted this week so we can be officially done with Khan Academy. Bye.